the timing of when we played Denison, you know, right after spring break, we, we finished the spring break and then we had a week off. So we hadn't played in, you know, close to 12, 13 days when we had to go and face them. So there's a little bit of anxiety, you know, just kind of getting itchy, wanting to play more. And I think it was similar going into this weekend. We finished the UAA tournament on a high note. And then we just kind of had to sit around for two weeks and wait to play again. So I know our guys were getting really itchy. It's late in the season. We've been practicing a lot. There aren't that many things that we can really uh, fix at this point. It's really just more some fine tuning. So when you're going through practices, it's just constantly finding ways to motivate yourself, um, you know, to, to have that end goal in mind, right? It's been fun, you know, but this, as much anxiety built up toward last weekend, I was really proud of the way the guys performed. We got Denison's best shot. You know, they 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 knew what they wanted to do to come in here and, and compete with us, and they gave us everything that they could give us. And I'm just proud of the guys for being resilient and staying tough. Um, you know, support staff was amazing over the weekend, just scrubbing courts and getting things dry and getting tents set up. Uh, you know, it's just really awesome to have a good team all around to set a stage for these guys to, to compete hard get ready for for NCAAs. We went from waiting, waiting, waiting for two weeks for, you know, a match now. We have like five days. So it went from having this big, long period of anxiety to, all right, we got to go. Um, so right in the middle of finals week, it hasn't been that tough. You know, honestly, I think you could say, oh man, finals, NCAAs, uh, final exams, it's tough. Like, like, how are you balancing? But to be honest, I think it's keeping them focused. I think it's, it's keeping them uh, on edge and it's giving them something that they need to be you know, doing each day. So practicing is a nice little break from burying your head in the books and into the computer. And we're getting a lot out of them on the court uh, yesterday, today, tomorrow. And we, we just can't wait to get on the plane, feel that 90 degree heat and uh, walk, walk into there and, and just kind of let that sweat drop, sweat drop down and, and just feel it. Uh, I know our guys are ready, we're really excited, and uh, we've been waiting for this obviously a really long time, and uh, you know, couldn't be happier for our seniors to get a trip down to Florida again to show, show everybody how hard they're working and how much better they're getting at the sport of tennis. You rewind the clock for these seniors and you go back to freshman year, they come in and the team has a bunch of momentum and we're rising up the rankings and you know, we, we lose to Claremont at National Indoors three years ago and then you know, we beat Wash U in the playoff match there, and then all of a sudden we go on spring break and stop. And these seniors were told that sophomores weren't gonna get on campus housing, and they, they made a commitment that they were gonna buy a, a rent a house, they were gonna live together, they were gonna train together, um, and I'm really proud of them for that. So from that day, you know, when COVID had hit, it was clear that our mission was to get back to a team championship and win it. Um, you know, obviously there's, there's sophomore year uh, we go to the national NCAA final and it doesn't go our way and then we go to national indoors the following year and we win it so we get a team title but then we go to UAAs and we go to NCAAs and we 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 lose in the final and then we go back to national indoors their senior year and we win it and now we we went to UAAs and we were able to conquer that one but really, I mean, this is just the final piece of the puzzle, right? It's the it's the third leg, uh, it's the third mountain, it's the peak. You know, we've been talking about this for three years now. We just really want to finish this thing right, uh, do right by these seniors and all the hard work they've put in the last three years since everybody was on that break. Um, I know that they're just going to go let it all out. I mean, the hair's going to be on fire and they're going to be flying all over the place trying to enjoy everything out of this last eight, nine days that we have together um, and do it right. So I think we've been doing everything we needed to do in the past couple of years to prepare for this, reading all the right books, listening to all the right speeches, listening to you know anything that we can to soak up what has to happen for us to get over this hump. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to shaving for once and I'm looking forward to possibly going against everything that I really, really would ever want and potentially getting some ink on my skin with the class of 23 on it. Uh, these guys I know are hoping to earn the right to do that. Uh, I, I've never not wanted something to happen so badly. <laughs>
obviously great feeling. I don't think a lot of teams can say that they are going to the NCAA quarterfinals for the third year uh, in a row. Um, but I think for us, it means a lot more. We have, this is our third year to do it. We feel confident that this is going to be our year. Um, against Denison, we obviously a tough opponent. Um, they, they have a lot of confidence and they thought they were going to beat us and um, they played a great match. Um, but we had confidence on our own side as well. I mean, you get to we had to do the right things and uh, beat them, and we did. And obviously, very happy about that. So we're definitely looking forward to going to Orlando and playing on Saturday for the quarterfinal match. At the beginning of the year, as you mentioned, we talked about uh, winning the indoor championship, uh, which we did, and the UA championship. Um, right now, I think the mindset of the whole team. I think we just forget about all that. We're just focusing on the next match. Um, I think a lot of team. The problem with that is like you can't really think about the past and what we've already done. Um, we're right now we're just focused on getting that quarterfinal match and just taking it one match at a time. If we don't do that, we're just gonna put ourselves in the pole, and that's where things get no um, nice and not where we want to be. So I think right now we're just focusing on doubles, how we can best improve for that match on Saturday against GAC. I'm uh, computer science and economics, so um, that's the reason I wanted to do computer science was because initially I just started out as finance and I wanted to develop more technical skills, and I was interested in fintech, uh, financial technology. And so computer science and economics are kind of the perfect hybrid because with economics, I can take more of the uh, coding classes, some, uh, some classes in R, but also it gives me more time to balance out the computer science side as well. So I can take a lot of those um, classes in Python and Java and develop those technical skills, which is what I wanted to do here. So um, that's kind of why I decided to do adult major. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, getting a taste of both the finance and economic side as well as the computer science side as well. When I was a high school senior, um, I obviously met with Coach Todd um, and my brother was already here, which is a big reason why I came. Obviously now he's graduated, uh, this is my first year with Adam, so it's been a little bit of a different experience this year. Um, but this team has made it an unbelievable experience. Um, obviously the tennis side, we've had some great success, hoping to have more, um, but yeah, I think on the uh, academic side, I've also grown a lot. Um, as I mentioned before, I just came from just trying to do finance, um, and now I'm doing computer science economics, and being able to balance that was really difficult, especially with um, a hectic tennis workload. But um, yeah, I think I've grown a lot as a person, um, learning a lot academically and athletically speaking as well. I think I've gotten a lot better. My freshman year, I didn't have the best year. Um, I didn't make the NCAA tournament individually, so my sophomore year, I came back, and that was my one uh, goal for myself to try to make that individual singles tournament um, and I did that and now I'm looking to do more damage obviously I want to um, win some rounds at the individual tournament. Athletically I think I've grown a lot, um, uh, academically I'm learning a lot and yeah this team has made it uh, all the more better.